Just for today, February 5th. Keep coming back, page 37. We are grateful that we were made so welcome at meetings that we felt comfortable. Basic text, page 83. Remember how scared we were when we walked into our first NA meeting. Even if we walked in with a friend, most of us recall how difficult it was to attend that first meeting. What was it that kept us coming back? Most of us have grateful memories of the welcome we were given and how comfortable that made us feel. When we raised our hand as a newcomer, we opened the door for other members to approach us and welcome us. Sometimes the difference between those addicts who walk back out the door of their first meeting, never to return to NA, and the addicts who stay to seek recovery is the simple hug of an NA member. When we have been clean a while, it's easy to step back from the procession of newcomers after all. We've seen so many people come and go, but members with some clean time can make the difference between the addict who doesn't return and the addict who keeps coming back. By offering our phone numbers, a hug, or just a warm welcome, we extend the hand of Narcotics Anonymous to the addict who still suffers. Just for today, I remember the welcome I was given when I first came to NA. Today, I will express my gratitude by offering a hug to a newcomer. Copyright 2007, NA World Services, All Rights Reserved. Thanks. Good one today. Now, because today's Saturday, um, I'm going to also read my friend Matt's Saturday gratitude text. This morning, I am grateful for the guys who helped me do the right things and were there for me in early sobriety when I had a lot of external chaos in my life. Hot fresh water for showers. That the light snowfall this morning appears to be all the weather for today and having sunshine and a straight drive. The freedom from my alcoholic prison and the freedom to do so Many things today that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do before. That I have been blessed with good parents and am able to put the time and effort into strengthening our relationship as they get older. My Saturday morning calls from a good friend. That I can be honest with myself and others and accept who I am and share it freely. And how much that ownership has helped me love myself again. Having a reliable vehicle and the time and means to travel this weekend. The excitement of people at work in Pennsylvania that I might bring back New York bagels and New York bagels. Dreams and reflecting and analyzing them and the ability to look inside myself and in situations with an open mind. The willingness to look at my own insecurity when someone tries to help and provide advice. And that's it, not because they think less of me. I'm grateful for prayer and seeking good, God, and the exploration of all things I don't know or can't explain. I'm grateful that I can feel today and allow myself to embrace the ups and downs of life without numbing or avoiding them. This gift of choice today and the opportunity to control the things inside myself that can make this day great. Thanks, Matt, for sharing that. Um, you know, one area that, uh, you know, Matt, I've known a couple months now. We haven't had a tremendous amount of time to fellowship outside of, you know, the rooms, but we're working on it. Matt, you know, we had the holidays, and Matt was going through some changes, and I was going through changes, but, you know, I really love Matt, and, um, you know, today when he talks about the freedom from the addict mind, the alcoholic mind, 
and the freedom to do so many things today that I wouldn't have had the opportunity if I was using or if I was drinking. You know, uh, every time I drank, I blacked out. And today I get all that time back if I just don't pick up. And that's a blessing of my recovery. And when Matt shared that today, it gave me a reminder of uh, a place to hold some gratitude in my heart. You know, and, and then the parents, being blessed with good parents and putting the effort into strengthening the relationship. You know, I've shared many, many times recently that the last three years I was able to care for two parents who passed away. And the time invested in, in the opportunities that presented themselves to see my parents and have conversations that perhaps I would have never had, you know, and, um, you know, just the journey that I went through. So, um, you know, lastly, I'll touch on, you know, the honesty with myself and others and accept who I am and share it freely and how much that ownership has helped me love myself again. You know, and then somewhere down here, you know, that turns into the dreams and the goals we have and we're able to analyze them and then to look inside myself at what I'm dealing with uh, with an open mind. You know, I'm not saying I do that all the time, but you know, recovery has given me the chance that when a problem shows up, I work through it. You know, I don't put it on the shelf unresolved. And then every time it comes up, I have a dilemma. You know, it's like uh, I, I heard Jordan Peterson say, it's like uh, not paying a utility bill for one month. You know, it's not too bad the second month but by the third month you know you, you, because you haven't made a decision you've got two or three other problems that you have to deal with so you know uh, being able to look at things with an open mind you know will prevent me from being in that three month dilemma so you know I'll keep it short and uh, you know the bagels Matt I'm going to text you and remind you that I want bagels too. But I'll leave that open. I have forever to get bagels from New York. Folks, I grew up in Queens, New York. Um, did elementary there. Did junior high there. Because my family situation, um, you know, I did my high school here in Pennsylvania. Um, so we'll leave it at that. God bless. I love you all. We do recover.